You, Loki, are the most tender-hearted of gods. No one knows this save Sigyn. You keep it well hidden, preferring to present to the world a mask of careless abandon, and to your family a facade of unbreakable strength. Sigyn is unto you, though, this wife whom you love beyond all others. She knows you well, and she has seen your eyes bright and shining as you cradled your sons in your arms. She has seen you when all masks fall away as you play and wrestle with your children. Those you have with her and those wildlings, serpent, wolf, and lady of grace and death. You are laughing, loving clay in their little, sometimes grubby hands. She has seen, O oh God of choices, the joy with which you scoop them up. Sweet and clumsy little toddlers with their delightful cries of Papa. She has seen. She knows what a balm they are to your bruised heart. She knows how they are your reason for being, and how deep your love for them and for her as well flows. They are your bedrock, and that for which you would burn a thousand worlds, or build a thousand up again. You love your family, Loki, and they are the greatest sanctuary you will ever know. The home you have built with them is a haven flourishing and happy. There is such joy there, and when your friend Thor comes to visit, Narvi and Vali raise holy hell, racing and playing with Magni, Moli, and Thruder. And it leaks out into the worlds, bringing laughter and lightness of heart to all mortals, and gods too, lucky enough to taste its flavor. Sigyn knows these things and is satisfied. A good father and good husband are gifts beyond price. The worlds are sustained by their hope and hard work. Hail to you, beloved of Sigyn, tender flame of her hearth.